Hello everyone! I hope that you're doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shaka and I wanted to do a video here because you can see the different colors of the trees behind me. There's red, there's yellow, there's green, there's orange. It's just gorgeous. In this video, I wanted to speak to you about a concept that's been kind of bouncing around in my head for the last few days. I started thinking about it as I was falling asleep and I woke up thinking about it as well so I knew that it was important and so I had to speak about it. That's usually how my videos go. I, I, I fall asleep thinking about it. I'm like, hmm, I should really do a video on it. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh, I'm still thinking about it. Okay, good. Let's do this video. Let's write it down before we forget about it. And the concept that's been running around my head is, is it an, an, an unfortunate situation right now that's going on around in the world? But let's start with a story first or an idea or an epithet. I was reading recently I'm actually fascinated by indigenous cultures, by native cultures, by any kind of culture that hasn't been, that has been completely contaminated by the Western civilization, right? And so obviously there, there's a lot of good in there and if we could just hold on to some of these indigenous cultures and not contaminate them and actually learn from them, we could completely change the face of this planet. But of course what we do is we go in and we, we commit cultural genocide, you know, we kind of inculcate them or bring them into the Western civilization and ask them or force them sometimes to get rid of all of their beautiful cultural traditions and all of the different things they do with their lives, right? Um, and one of the things I was reading about the way Native cultures deal with older people, elderly people, it's something that I've, I really wish that we would, as a, as a civilization, as a, as a modern civilization, learn from. And one of the things that I read that was so beautiful, it made me cry, is that, you know, they kind of, in a particular culture, what they do is that they, I think it's aboriginal culture, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. I have all these kind of ideas in my head, and I'm like, I don't know where I got that from, but I think it's true. So basically, the idea is that they kind of, as soon as there's a grandchild that's born in a family, they kind of pair up the grandchild with the grandfather and the idea is that the grandfather is going to be going to the realm of the dead or the afterlife soon and he's gonna need some information from the grandchild who just came from that realm because he just came he was just born so he was just in that afterlife or that middle bardo stage in between lives and so he has some information from that stage and he is able to convey that subconsciously or in a conscious manner however it's done to the grandfather who is going there soon right and who needs that information right not only that but i mean it's so beautiful right don't, don't you think it's so beautiful i just love that but not only that there is this idea in, in native cultures that elderly people are actually the most precious of all of the people that are present because they hold all of the knowledge of the civilization of that culture right they're the ones who've lived they're the ones who have wisdom they have the they have all the knowledge all the stories all of the all of the um the medicine all of the information about nutrition and all the different information that you would need in order for the civilization to keep on going so in our culture in western culture obviously as you might know we kind of idolize youth we idolize beauty and youth and kind of are disdainful a little bit of the sen senior population or the elderly population. They're already done. We're, we can't dismiss them. We put them into homes. We let them rot away there. Like we don't talk to them. We don't, we don't ask them questions. We don't bring them in to, um, to talk to them about their wisdom. We don't get anything from them in terms of any knowledge or we don't try to... We don't... We just let all of that knowledge go to waste and we just let it go somehow right whereas the native cultures are very particular and very careful also i guess because they don't have the internet or you know things like that but they were careful because they know that the elderly people hold the knowledge they hold the language they hold the culture they hold all of this information about the stars and the astrology and the energy structures and and the waves and the oceans and I mean all of that information is in their heads and obviously a lot of times in native cultures it's kind of passed down from one generation to another by by oral traditions right like orally they they speak about the, the stories they tell the stories and that's how one culture knows about it or one generation knows about it and the next generation knows about it right and so it kind of passes down through oral traditions 
Now, of course, now we have written traditions, so we have like we're able to write stuff down. So we don't actually have to be like, well, tell me the story of when that happened. No, you know, you can write it down. But literally, still, there are some nuances that are probably lost when you just write stuff down. When you're not sitting in front of the person who actually lived through it, and you can't get that really like that depth to it. You know, you can't get that nuance to it. So you kind of miss out on a lot, I believe, by dismissing the elderly as we do in our culture and putting them into homes, letting them rot away or die. And particularly right now, there is a huge gap in knowledge right now or wisdom because as you might imagine, a lot of the elderly people are being lost because of the coronavirus pandemic. And again, I see this in a lot of the comments that I get from Americans particularly, is that, well, most of the people who died were elderly anyways. They were gonna die anyways. So what the hell, it doesn't really matter. Well, it's fine. You know, 75% of them were about the age of 65 or, you know, they give me all these stats and I'm just sitting there thinking, do you have no regard for the value or the wisdom that you've just lost through the 200,000 Americans that have died who are perhaps elderly or not all elderly, but some of them? Like, do you not realize that there was knowledge and wisdom and all of this goodness that was stored in their minds and their bodies and their, in their psyches? That is completely gone now. It's completely lost because they're gone because of this pandemic. Not that I'm saying that it might not have happened anyways. But I'm just saying that there is this lack of this complete disregard for for the elderly population, not re realizing that they hold knowledge, they hold wisdom, they hold the key sometimes to, to things that were like, well, I wish I knew how to do this. Well, maybe ask your grandmother, right? Maybe she's already learned it. Maybe ask the elderly people in your community. Well, unfortunately, a lot of people, a lot of us live in places where we don't have a community. We don't have any elderly people around us. We don't have any people who have any kind of wisdom of knowledge, like past wisdom, past knowledge at all. And so we're just sitting there thinking, I guess I'll just go on the internet. Yeah, you can go on the internet. Obviously, there's a lot of knowledge on there, but is there wisdom, right? Is there like inculcated depth and wisdom in all the information that you're going to get from there? Is it the same as sitting by your grandfather or by an elderly person and, and having them tell you the stories of the past. Yeah. And so for me, I feel like there's a huge loss here. There's a huge gap here and the gap is going to get bigger and bigger because apparently it seems like it's okay. It's okay. Well, they were over the age of 75. It doesn't really matter what we are already done living their life. Well, maybe, yeah, they're done living their life, but they wouldn't be if you actually integrated them into society and then treat them like the pariahs that they that the Americans treat or like a lot of Western civilization treats their elderly elderly people like it's like well they're old they're not going to do anything of value they're not in the capitalistic system anymore because they're not working anymore so what's the point well, let's let them just die it's okay right now obviously I'm being a little bit more harsh towards the situation but maybe not really because it seems like if you're not producing in the capitalistic culture if you're not making money if you're not in the economy already if you're not kind of you know doing that then you're not you're useless what's the point of you yeah you know, just get just go out and get rid of you all of those people who don't actually produce right and of course one of the the sects or the one of the populations that fall into that category are the elderly population because once they retire well you know what are they going to do just going to travel a bit and then they're going to die well, it doesn't matter anyways the only people we're concerned about are the youth the young people because they're like idolized and then the people in their 20s and 30s because they're producing and the people in their 40s and 50s because they're accumulating and buying things and that's it after you get to the age of 60 like who cares about you kind of thing right and i was kind of watching this snippet or this skit from this elderly not, you know she wasn't even, she wasn't even elderly an older woman i think she's in her 60s and she's funny because she's a comedian and she was standing on stage and she's like, you know, everyone, can everyone see me? Is everyone, can, can everyone see that I'm standing here on the stage? And the, the stage is like, yeah, we can see you. And she's like, oh, good. Thank God. Because apparently women become invisible after they turn 60 or even after they turn 50. And there's this general sense of invisibility with, with regards to elderly people because after a while, you don't even notice that they're there. Oh, if you're young, yeah, beautiful, awesome. Let me look at you. If you're old, well, it doesn't really matter anyways. What's the point of you? What are you doing with your life? Just go on already. Go on and die so you can actually take all the resources and use it for something else, right? Now, again, I'm being a bit harsh, 
But I feel like that's the general sense I get from a lot of the conversations I'm having with people who are like, well, it doesn't really matter anyways. All the people who die were old. There's a lot of knowledge in that. That's what's lost. That's a lot of wisdom. That's a lot of culture, a lot of history, a, a lot of stuff in their heads that we've lost, in their bodies that we've lost because of this general disdain for elderly people. So I wanted to share this idea with you. It's not a brilliant or a logical or a, not a logical, I mean original idea. It's not very original, obviously. The native people have always, always been thinking about this. But I wanted to share this with you because I really got a sense of it from you know, having conversations with people and thinking, well, yeah, it's only, it's only the older people who are dying. It's fine. As long as it doesn't touch the young people, it's okay. Well, I don't know about that that much. Like, I really don't because in a lot of native cultures, it's the elderly people who are saved first because they're the ones who hold the keys, the knowledge, the, the traditions. If the younger people die, it's not so much of a loss. But if the older people die, it's a big loss. Maybe we're not living in a traditional native culture, but still the loss of knowledge and wisdom is still there, I believe. We're still experiencing that gap right now. Unless we stop, you know, unless we stop and realize, oh, yeah, no, we should really do something about this pandemic because it is killing people. It doesn't matter if they're elderly or not. Well, that's just my opinion. I'm sure you're all going to disagree with it, but that's okay. You know, I'd love to see what your comments are on the situation and what you think about it. If you have any questions about this, obviously let me know as well. Again, thank you so much for listening, for being on my channel, and I shall see you the next time around. Bye for now.